Good morning, good evening, and good afternoon. Welcome back. And today I have for you the revisited guide for the monk. This video is pre-patch 7.1. Should we be getting some spicy updates to PvP, I will make sure to make brand new guides for each and every role. In this video I cover actions and combos, your strengths and weaknesses, ending with some scenarios covering the playstyle of the monk. Thank you all for the continued support, as we have now achieved 3300 subscribers. Enjoy today's video, and I will see you all in the next one. Let's start with the basics. Thunderclap. This is both your setup ability and your escape, in which you can hold free charges. This action allows you to dash 20 yards to enemies and allies. Dashing to enemies grants yourself a 6,000 barrier. However, dashing to allies not only provides an escape, this also grants that ally the 6,000 barrier instead of yourself. If you are playing with a friend, or if you wish to aid someone's play, dashing towards a friendly as they go in could make all the difference. Thunderclap also reduces weapon skill recast timers by 10% for 10 seconds. Next is your Riddle of Earth. This is your defensive ability, which again can be used to engage and disengage. Upon use, this ability turns into Earth's reply. Over the next 8 seconds, you can pile any and all damage you receive. Upon activating Earth's reply, you counterattack with an AoE ability, damaging everyone within range while also healing yourself. The damage is 2000 plus 25% of the total damage you took. If you took 50,000 damage, your counterattack will be 14.5. The heal potency is 4000 plus 50% of the compiled damage. So again, if you took 50,000 damage, your heal would be 29,000. Within Frontline, be sure to use this ability when your team rushes in. Your AoE damage is a fast way to earn easy battle highs, in plays such as Dark Knight Rush. For your crowd control, monks can be equipped with the Six-Sided Star, a simple 4000 damage followed by a stun, which also gives you a 25% bonus movement speed. This can be used to aid in your escape and better yet, be used to kidnap enemy Dark Knights and other tough-to-kill roles. This is achieved alongside the Action Enlightenment, which deals 8,000 damage to all enemies within a straight line, and more importantly, knocks back your first target by 15 yards. You would Thunderclap rush to your target and stun with the Six-Sided Star, while using your stun move behind your target. That way your Enlightenment can push them towards your team. A successful knockback will also mean your next weapon skill or your Limit Break Meteo Drive will now deal an additional 8,000 damage. Your ability to keep Dark Knights under control is becoming a much more frequently played strategy, as PvP right now is flooded with pre-made groups running Dark Knight Rush. Your stun knockback will not always work due to server tick rates, so this will take some time and practice. Next is your Rising Phoenix. A 3,000 AoE damage ability great for claiming kill credit, which also increases your next weapon skill by 50%. Weapon skills are your 7-part main rotation and enlightenment. For the best results, you use these alongside Phantom Rush and Enlightenment, before ending with a limit break if required. The basic rotation can take some time to memorize, starting Bootshine dealing 3000 damage, True Strike for 4000, Snap Punch for 6000, Into Dragon Kick for 3000, Twin Snakes for 4000, and Demolish for 6000 ending with Phantom Rush for 12,000, which will also strike those around your target. Skill 3 and 6, Snap Punch and Demolish both deal 6,000 damage. Sometimes when finishing off a weak target, using Rising Phoenix for that bonus 50% can be the difference maker. Most of the time, however, you will be saving it for Phantom Rush for that 18,000 burst. For your limit break, we have the Meteor Drive. This ability has confused many since 6.1. Upon use, you instantly dash to your target, dealing 12,000 damage. That 12k is the base damage that never changes, and the targets you strike cannot move for 3 seconds, and should they use guard, you break through it. Which is why Enlightenment and Meteor Drive make monks amazing for shutting down Dark Knights. Now if your target does not use guard, you will deal a second 12,000 damage for a combined 24,000. Using Enlightenment before your limit break will boost this further. The moment the target starts getting knocked back, jump right into your limit break. This now means you get the 8,000 base damage from Enlightenment and a bonus 8,000 for Meteor Drive if the target was knocked away, meaning you can deal a combined 40,000 damage. Here is the main combo that I'd like to use. Start with the Thunderclap, then cycle for your main rotation for Phantom Rush. Use Rising Phoenix into Rush, 
and then instantly follow with the six-sided star. This gives you the time to follow up with a second Rising Phoenix into Enlightenment, before your target gets a chance to heal. If the knockback went through, end with Meteo Drive. This combo done right can shut down any job in PvP, and thanks to a fast limit break gauge you can do this often. Here are two macros I created, which can be of use to a few of you. Firstly is a nice and simple thunderclap to your focus target, allowing you to dash to a friend or a specific ally such as a Dark Knight with a single button press, without the need to target first. And second is my audio cue Riddle of Earth. Upon use, a 6 second timer will commence. After 6 seconds, a audio cue will sound, which only yourself can hear, letting you know that you have 3 seconds remaining to cast Earth's reply. This is good for those of you who struggle to keep track of abilities that include timers throughout all of the chaos. To play the monk, it is important to know what you are best at. Firstly, you have great movement, allowing you to dive the enemy and aid the team, providing shield for both yourself and allies. This same movement allows you to keep up continuous pressure. If you wind up in 1v1 scenarios, the monk is plenty well equipped to duel every other class. You have a very fast limit break charge, and one of the better limit breaks in PvP, allowing you to set up devastating damage. Even should your target survive, it is more than likely that your team will have the cleanup. This same limit break breaks through guards, shutting down players' escapes, and the monk is the best solo pick for shutting down Dark Knights, thanks to your ability to both stun and knock back targets towards your enemy team. Mastering this technique can win you so many matches. Your first weakness is the seven-part rotation, which you must always cycle through to get access to your true burst. Your ability to dash to allies does help in escape. However, you will need to remember you will not get the shields, which are instead given to the teammate. Should you flee from a battle too late, there is always a chance the ranged classes could still finish you off. One of your biggest threats is another monk, as monk 1v1 duels come down to who misplays first, or who has full combo. You do have AoE damage, which is fairly decent once set up, otherwise the monk is mostly a solo targeting role. This is the same reason why as a monk, you don't hit those crazy 3 million plus damage matches. You do less overall damage compared to other DPS, however you have the most effective DPS, with little wasted effort. Your biggest weakness perhaps is allies. While you are amazing at taking down Dark Knights, Ninjas and other tough roles, XP Farmers, Rouletters and Griefers make the Monk's job incredibly difficult at times. This first play demonstrates the potential to steal uh, kills while third partying, using both a Riddle of Earth so and your Rising Phoenix to tag all nearby enemies, and at the very least, you always walk away with a few easy assist up. points. The key is to not overcommit, go in, do some damage, away. and back out. Early fights such as this yeah, are all about building your battle highs. Act 2 is all about showing restraint, while sticking to your main goal. The aim here is to single out a Dark Knight, without diving in too deep into the red team. Plays like this shut down a Dark Knight's ability to build battle hearts, and have a huge effect in the later stages of a match. After the Dark Knight is dealt with, you want to hang back and choose your next target. If you can, bounce back and forth between enemies and allies. Play slow. Save the bolder plays for a battle high 4 and 5. This third play shows just how much a monk can keep the pressure going, giving chase to this maelstrom ninja. You are able to stun and launch them towards your team, all while at the same time using your limit break. Having now burned through his abilities and recuperates, their only option is to use guard and retreat. However, being the monk, I could continue the chase once again until he dies, before needing to guard up and retreat myself. Beautiful. Act 4 shows what you can get away with once you understand the enemy roles. I dive in just after the Reaper uses Limit Break, dodging Hysteria. The Samurai towards the middle is out of range of my AoE, thus I avoid his cheat in setting up his one-shot. The, the, one. the Glass Smashing sound is the Reaper's Yay. Arcane Crest breaking, meaning now I want to deal oh, big damage to avoid him out-sustaining me, using my Limit Break to make quick work of this. We are then able to finish off the Samurai who Limit Broke in. This final play is a combination of everything previous, taking advantage of out-position targets, 
before looking to combo off. The Shadan a Dark Knight on a level 5 battle Just high. Plays like this is what won us this round. And using my dash macro, I was able to escape to Ava while focusing on healing. So now is the time to Elixir back to full. And then to use my battle high to pick off weaker targets. But never overcommitting to any one play. Retreating whenever you feel the need to do so. And there we have it. The fundamentals of playing the monk. Only time will tell just how good the monk will become in patch 7.1. I hope this video could be of some use. Enjoy the rest of your day, and I will see you all in the next one.